Welcome back. I'm one of the developers working on Dwarf. It's a tower defense dungeon crawler RPG. And um, we could use some blue crystals. So let's get started. Here we go. So to get references, I like to look at real crystals, but also drawings of crystals will also make it much easier for you to know how to draw your pixel art because what the, the drawings of whatever it is that you're going to draw are going to kind of focus on key elements of that thing. So here, I think this is a great example of some crystals and notice that there are parts that are that are white because they're so reflective. So here are the existing crystals we have, and I'm going to make blue versions of these. Let me show you how it's done. First, go to edit adjustments you in saturation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're actually going to draw one. However, this is a pretty great way to create different um, colored versions of your crystals. It did change the ground as well, though. You see that the 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 dirt around it. But um, anyway, this is the blue that I need. So I'm just going to copy paste um, this entire crystal over into uh, this file here so I can use these colors as a reference. So I think the easiest way for us to start is with an outline. And with this outline, kind of what I'm going to pay attention to is I want the crystal to have several um, different edges. So, you know, we could do a crystal that literally just has two sides, something like like this. I don't know if that made sense. Let me color it in so you see what I'm talking about. So we could, oops, make sure that contiguous is on before you uh, use the paint bucket. The pixel art program I'm using is called Aceprite. It's pretty good for pixel art. And there's a link in the description. If you buy it, I get a tiny little kickback. So that's much appreciated. Okay, so you see how there's just two sides here. I actually want to increase the amount of sides that we can have. So something I could do is create just like an extra side near the top. And then I would probably make that lighter. So I think that this is kind of a basic shape that you're going to use for uh, crystals that top um, section um, can be even larger. Uh, I think it does look better if you make it larger. So uh, something, you know, like that. And you see how we had the uh, outlines in the middle, we can actually get rid of those, you don't need the outline in the middle. And now you can see that our crystal kind of has um, some kind of form it has a shape to it. And it has the different sides to it. It looks a little wonky now. But don't worry, we're gonna make it better. I'm gonna make this crystal larger because I really want to show details in this crystal. So with the crystal, instead of making this outline part darker, uh, which you could do, and I would probably do that with like a rock or something. But what I prefer to do is actually make that center outline lighter. And by making that center outline lighter, it looks more reflective. You see that? And then I think you should, you can even take it up a notch and make it even that outline even lighter near the top. So here you can see that basically I use this really light blue as a way to create an outline between the colors. And this is where I would um, add some add some white in here to make it reflective. And um, we can go pretty crazy with it. But I think just something simple um, like this is good is good enough to make it look like it's reflecting. And then I can even go down this side, this edge of it, and this edge to create reflections. You see how right next to the outline is where I put the, the lighter color. And that makes it look like the edges are reflective. With this black outline, though, I don't think it looks good. I'm going to remove those. I don't think they're necessary. So something I like to do is um, add some shading to my outlines as well. So for example, what I'm going to do is this entire side and top are actually going to be a lighter blue. And then if I go and make the opacity about half of that, I can color over the black and it will actually blend these two colors in with each other. So we can do something like, um, like this to, to blend those two. Now for the side of this, I could have a sort of a transition, you know, right there. But I don't think that that's a great idea. Um, 
I think it's better to have the colors transition near the bottom or where the color changes. So for example, here near the top, I have this light outline, but this side is supposed to be the darker side. So I left the outline on this side darker than the right side because this right side is the lighter side. So even the outline, I'm shading it according to the sides. Basically what I'm drawing is kind of like pyramids, but what you can do is chop off the top like I did here, create another angle for your diamond shape. I meant crystal shape. <laughs> I guess this is a, this could be a tutorial for diamonds too. They, they wouldn't be much different. So for this rock, since, it, since it's facing sort of where my light source is coming from, which is over here in the top right, um, I'm going to make that side reflective. Remember how I didn't make this entire side reflective? Well, this time, since this angle is actually going straight towards the light source, I think I will. And then I'm going to use this in between blue to sort of create a transition. That blue might need to be a little bit darker. Let me try this one. Yeah, that looks better as a transition between those two sides. However, this almost looks too much like a rock. Um, it almost looks like it doesn't have enough enough sides. And I do like the idea of adding a lot of sides, but the problem is that it can get too messy. So for example, let's try to add a piece here um, that would have a lot of sides. So maybe maybe something like maybe something like this. All right, and I'm just gonna fill it in. So there you go. It has more sides. And I think that when you, the more sides you add, basically the more it looks like a crystal. We could even, we could even add like another, um, you know, side here, another edge here. And I feel like just adding more edges makes it feel more crystal-like, makes it feel more, makes it look more natural. But you want to be careful that you don't add too many sides because it'll make it harder for you to maintain the lighting correctly. And it might also get so messy that people won't be able to tell the shape of your crystals. I think that's coming out pretty well. Now near the base here, I'm just gonna add some smaller crystals. And um, you know, if like chunks fell off, this is where they would be. And, and uh, I guess crystals do grow, right? It's like in caves, stuff drips and it slowly creates crystals, I think. I think that's how crystals and stalactites are created. I might be very, very wrong about that. But um, I think whatever, let's make some little chunks here. Since this is near the ground, I, I also think that keeping that dark outline is is fine because it there wouldn't be that much lighting uh, down here near the ground. So actually, I think I'm gonna also add that black outline over here and uh, shade it a little bit more. something like that so as you can see i'm trying to put the dark outlines in the crevices i'm not making the outline dark everywhere and i'm also kind of making the left side have more shading on it this part might be a little too reflective for this bottom so i'm actually going to remove that from this section right here so i can shade it a little bit and that'll kind of just make it look like um there's that like the light the lighting doesn't get down here light doesn't get doesn't reflect in here too much but remember if when you're doing crystals you do want them to almost get lighting from every angle you don't just want to have a highlight on one side and not the other you can see that there's reflections on the right and the left right mostly near the top you're gonna to want to keep it mostly near the top but um some reflections near the bottom are kind of important too just so that it doesn't look like all of a sudden it's rocks and not crystals so i might do a little um a little like blue dot there you know so it looks like there's a sparkle there and then maybe even like nah that stone doesn't need it but maybe for this part um i'm gonna go down on the opacity and what i'm gonna do is make a like a larger chunk of it highlighted so maybe this upper part and i could do the same here in an area as well um, it's fine to make large chunks reflective like this whole piece 
could almost be white, not just the outline. And I think that that's fine. Let me um, do that here a little bit. Make that chunk um, more reflective. I feel like it's way too dark up here. So we might actually need to create this sort of uh, transition. And that looks like if you look at the preview here, it looks like we're creating another edge. And remember how I said the more edges you create, the more like natural it looks, the less like hand cut it looks. I don't like how pointy this um, edge is here because I don't want the crystal to be just a um, just like a triangle, you know, something that um, we can do to fix that probably straighten this out and now it looks more like a crystal let me fade that outline maybe switch that to that and i'm gonna make this white the contrast here isn't high enough so i'm gonna use white right here in the corner to increase the contrast there to make that ledge to make that edge way more obvious right there as well and then I think I should put white right there. I think that one came out really good. Let's do one more just to make sure we got the technique down right. This time I'm going to make it sort of a generic shape just so that it's easier to tell what we're doing. So the sides I'm going to make straight because crystals are known for having, you know, very sharp straight edges. And I'm just drawing a basic crystal shape here. And from here, what we're going to do is Pick one side that's going to be darker and pick one side that's going to be lighter, right? And once I do that, I'm going to um, also, obviously, the top needs to be the lightest. And then what I'm going to do is use the lightest color, an even lighter color, actually. I'm going to use a almost almost white, right? You can use almost white. And what I'm going to do is use that as the outline inside and check that out. Now you got a crystal. And from here, I think you can improve it by making this line obviously not white everywhere. You have to kind of pick a spot where it's extra reflective. Okay, and now we're gonna want to improve the outline as well. So since the top has a lot of lighting, the main thing that I wanted to point out is that making the top lighter like this gives your uh, crystal more form. However, I think that um, I don't really like using black outlines, so I'm going to use this really dark blue outline. So the left side here is a little bit darker. That's why I also made the outline here a little bit darker. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a little detail that I like to add. I think that adds a little bit of shading. And let me do a little bit of that on that side. And then on the outline as well. I'm shading it near the bottom because uh, it wouldn't be as bright near the near the ground. I could probably duplicate this. that that actually kind of worked personally i don't like to make crystals too too reflective i'm sort of like picking locations here where um i add the highlights as you can see but i i think it still looks cool if you have entire sides um that are that are reflective you see that like that's still pretty cool it just depends on you know it's up to you but um this to me looks like a little bit much but it's also pretty eye-catching so whatever, do, do what you like. Looking at the existing crystals, we can see the technique that I was talking about. You see how the edge here, it's not a dark outline. I'm actually highlighting it. It's a, it's a lighter color. And then an entire section here, this whole thing um, is a highlight and it makes this whole part look more natural, it makes it look less perfectly cut by adding you know, these giant chunks that are reflective or these sort of lines that go across. Those look like little little chips in the in the crystal. The reason I didn't do that for these little ones is because I, it's hard to add that detail. Then for tiny crystals like this one, you can see 
how I made the outline here a little bit lighter, right? And then I picked um, one side to be dark, one side to be a little bit lighter, and then one side to be the lightest. It's just these three colors and then a glare. You know, actually, I do think we could add a couple of those lines that go across to this just to make it look a little more natural and like cracked or whatever. <laughs> I like it. This side right here is huge. Let me try a light one like here. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I hope this tutorial helped you draw some cool crystals. I have a free R asset pack on itch links in the description. You can use this right in your games or whatever you want. I'll see you guys next week. Devlight.